That's the anointing. That's the true power of an almighty God. When God speaks to your heart and tells you to do something and you hear the voice of the Lord and you follow up on that, you'll see something take place. Amen. There's a lot of people has got a lot of good ideas. Well, it might be a good idea if I go over here and, and tell somebody they need to get in church and you need to straighten your life out, buddy. You need to get yourself together. Amen. But if the Spirit of the Lord didn't tell me to do that, hey, thank God. And in the manner of uh, that speaking right there, we got to speak by love. The anointing shows you how to speak. It shows you how to talk to somebody. Hey man, you can't talk within yourself. You got to talk through and by the Spirit to somebody. Show them an example of love and kindness. That's what Jesus did. He went about doing good. He didn't look at people and say, well, you old harlot, you need to get right with God. Uh, he didn't look and say, you old leper, look at you, you old uh, dingy leper, get on out of here. Hey, brother, Jesus went about showing people love, amen, and compassion. He had compassion on them. Why? Because he was anointed to do so. God had sent him to heal the brokenhearted, to cleanse the lepers, to bring in sight to the blind. And why ain't we seeing this today? We can when the anointing is present. When the power and demonstration of Almighty God's Word comes to life to people. Amen. You know, I was talking to somebody last night. They said if I was truly where I needed to be with God, I could start speaking to things that wasn't right or start speaking to these spirits that's taken over some of my family and stuff like that. That's where we need to be. We need to be right where God wants us to be so that we can speak to these things, amen, and proclaim and, and just decree and declare and say, praise God, alcoholism, I bind you at the name of Jesus. Drug addiction, Oh, I bind you in Jesus' name. I loose deliverance upon your life. Praise God. That's where we need to be back to tonight. Amen. Back where the anointing is, the power where we can start speaking to sickness. Cancer, I bind you in Jesus' name. Dry up, be cursed at the roots. Amen. Blindness, open blinded eyes right now. You cataracts fall off at the name of Jesus. We need to be back to where the anointing and power is. For God's glory. For God's glory. <laughs> you know what these men of God? i got to go on just a minute more. These men of God, like Simon Bar, Jonah, Peter, Paul, and Silas, these true men of God, they were anointed to do what God had them to do. Simon Peter, even after he denied the Lord three times, he, he went out and wept bitterly. And he seeked a place of repentance. And he repented before Almighty God. And he was so sorrowful in his heart. God anointed him with such a power and such an anointing that later on in the book of Acts, you'll read about him laying the sick and impotent folk right out in the street. And just his shadow would pass over them and they would be made completely whole. That's what I call the anointing. That's the anointing. Thank God, and we can have that same type of anointing. Hey, Amen. You shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. You shall cast out devils. You shall. Hey, Amen. That's powerful. That's powerful. That ain't doubting and unbelief. He didn't say you maybe, might be, could be, or it might be a good idea. He said ye shall do these things. When the power is present, ye shall. 